Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I just wanted to quick, I guess, quickly show you a video how to put labels on pretty much anything inside of Ark. It's a, it's a neat little trick that people kind of forget about because one of my least favorite things is disorganization inside of Ark. However, you can see I've got these signs in place on top of just about everything in the entire game. And then you can even add them on top of vaults. There's just like ways that you have to do a little bit of a workaround for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. If you don't mind, smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel if you like some of the content. So anyways, what are you gonna do? So pretty much every structure inside of Arc, as you can see right here, has the ability to have a sign placed down upon it. All you have to do is get the metal sign wall sign, or if you prefer the looks of the wood sign, you just go ahead and use the wood sign. Now you can hit R and it'll snap into place. However, we don't like the snapping. So we're gonna go ahead and hit Z and the Z is going to allow you to disable the snapping just so you can see it right there, right? We don't want it to snap. So we want it to keep keep non-snappable, which is the, uh, the, the important part. So make sure you can put it where you want. Now, basically what you're going to do is you're going to place it wherever you want on a structure. Now, I like to be able to do things like put it on your feeding troughs in order to like put one for meat. You can literally just name it meat and you just write the name on it. And this just makes it a lot easier because sometimes you've got 10, 15, 20 people in a tribe. And if you have something pre-labeled without having to like stare in close to it and you can just like walk by and like, oh, this is where meat goes, you can just walk up and quickly dump things into it. It's a huge, huge time saver. So having like meat and then this for veggies or whatever you want to call it, and then good BPs, bad BPs, you can write whatever you want on them. You can troll some people, whatever you want. Now, I love using them for fridges because I like to be able to name fridges something like eggs, right? Because if you have a fridge named eggs, uh, what the heck? It wouldn't let me say that. Eh, egg. See if it'll let me say egg. There we go. So you can label it egg pretty easily. So you just literally know that that's where all your eggs are going to be. You can have a kibble fridge. You can have a meat fridge, veggies, pretty much everything. Now, the one thing that's a little bit different is unfortunately, there isn't a way to place a sign on top of vaults. So your option is to do what I'm doing right here and place the sign in front of it. I don't like doing that because that blocks a very large viewpoint from your vaults. So you kind of have to like look underneath in order to access the vault. I'm not a big fan of that. So what you can do if you don't want to do it like this, I could just write vault, right? Oh, why? Whatever. I misspelled it. Volute. Um, I can go up top and I can just rename it up here. And you literally can hang down that sign that hangs over the top and you look up and know where it's labeled. Now, if you're not running mods, this is one of the best ways to actually label things on official because then you can have all of it ready to go and you know where everything is. It is such a time saver. I know it seems like it's a stupid thing, but it is such a huge time saver. Even being able to place something like this, right? Like I can place this on top and I can close it and it'll actually hover it. So that's another cool thing that you can do. Um, I didn't know if you didn't know if you knew you could do that or not. Unfortunately, there's not really a good way to actually get these to open inwards because they always open upwards. So if you were to put them on the level below, that might be a useful thing. Um, but if you want to create a hovering sign like I have right here, you can do it using this kind of uh, cellar door option. But that is how you go through and label pretty much everything. And just so you can see, again, you're just going to be able to go through and just slap it down. Now you want to aim towards either really high or really low on it. I find it better to be placed high on something because it's when you have it higher up, it's easier to see. So you don't have to like look down and it's just something you see naturally as you go by. So it's a quick little tip, but it'll save you hours and hours and hours of gameplay. It's kind of like a more advanced tip because people just, I mean, I will be the first to admit this when I start at Arc, I'd go in, oh, what's inside this one? Okay, it's not what I want. Oh, I go inside this one. That's not what I want. Now you can rename them, right? By renaming them and then just like look at that, but it's easier if it's already pre-placed so you know where to go and then just, it saves so much time. So definitely start using this trick if you're not already and hopefully it helps you out. But other than that, teach.